and welcome back to my channel. I have been like missing for so long <laughs> and I do apologise. Um, there's just been so much that's gone on that I, I don't really want to go into detail in. Um, but since my last video there's just been so much stuff that's gone on. But today I felt really motivated because a lot of people are starting university soon, especially doing nursing, the police, paramedic science, anything to do with healthcare. So I thought that I would share my recommendations and things that I wish I was told before starting a nursing degree at university. So what I'm going to talk about today is mainly talking about what you need when you're on placement, just to make your experience a little bit better so that you have everything you need, you're in the comfiest clothes that you can be, because um, obviously you're on your feet for sometimes 12, 13, 14 hours a day. They are long days, you do get tired. The clothes, like the uniform, are exactly the comfiest. Um, there's always little bits and bobs that you forget when you start your placement, so I thought that I would mention what I've found has been most beneficial during my um, time on placement and stuff that I wish that I knew about earlier. So the number one thing that I can 100, 100, 100% recommend is having comfy shoes. There is nothing worse than spending 12, 13 hours on your feet and you've got the most uncomfiest shoes on. So that would be the one thing that I would absolutely top tier recommend that you get before starting placement. I got Skechers, um, I can't remember the name of the shoe, I'll try and put a link in the description. Um, and they were the comfiest shoes that I've ever had. I didn't even feel like I had shoes on. They were just so soft. It was like memory foam. It was just so light. Just made walking back and forth through placements and standing on your feet all day so much comfier. I've also got a pair of Nike trainers which are quite comfy. Um, but I found with the sketches that, you know, sometimes it might just be made that when you wear trainers, like there's like the metal bit that sticks off the back of the shoe. I didn't get that with the sketches where I've had that with a couple of pairs of trainers. So yeah, I would 100% recommend getting sketches and wear them around the house for a little bit, just like wear them in a little bit, but they'll 100% be your best friend. Another thing that I would recommend when going on placements is having a really big backpack or a big handbag to carry all your things in. I know, especially during COVID, that you're probably going to need a spare change of clothes, going to and from placement, or go in your own clothes and bring your uniform and another pair of shoes and your lunch and a bunch of other things. So I would recommend getting quite a big backpack. I got a Nike one off my boyfriend for me birthday a couple of years ago, and I think that's like the perfect size. It just fits everything in. There's enough pockets in. It doesn't feel too heavy when you're wearing it on your back because obviously backpacks can be quite heavy when you've got loads of stuff in, but this one feels fine. Um, I just think it's a lot handy to have a bigger backpack, especially if you go to a placement to be like a welcome pack or they have a specific uniform that you've got to take home um, or different pair of shoes and things like that. I just think it's ideal to have a bigger backpack just to have more space, make it easier for yourself instead of carrying loads of... Another item that I would recommend is having lots and lots and lots of pens because you'll think that you have enough pens before you start placement and by about week two you'll have no pens left because they just get robbed up, you'll borrow them, never bring them back, or they break, the ink spills. So I would recommend just getting an absolute big massive pack of pens. Um, preferably black ones, I think. I know that when I've been on placements, um, they've only ever accepted black pens. But you can get like the ones like the more than the one colours that you push down, because I, I use them for on like handovers or taking um, my own notes, just so it separates a bit better, because I learn like visually and by like colours and things so if that helps as well then get one of them pens I think they do them ones that are like the multiple colours they, they had one at home bargains for like 80p so instead of paying like I think I, one pen I paid like £4 for in WH Smiths and I felt absolutely robbed because I only had three colours in I'm sorry my cats have just decided to start like having a play fight awesome. excuse me and then where you work I found these were especially helpful in A&E is a pair of scissors I don't mean like just like genetic scissors, I mean like the scissors that you can like cut fabric with. Just because you never know, especially when you're working in like A&E or on the wards when you're going to need them. So I think they are really handy to have. I think you get them on Amazon for like £2. Um, anything that I've mentioned today, I'll try and find either what I've got or something similar and put it in the description just so it's easier for you to find. Because I'm not the best at describing things, so I might as well give you the link and um, show you what I mean. <laughs> Along with scissors, I'd get one of those, I don't know what they're called, and my editors are describing things, but it's basically like a little pen torch, but like people use it to like check people's pupils and whether they um, dilate or not. They're quite handy to have as well. 
um, I think there's been a couple of times where like a doctor has asked if anyone's got one and like ba bam like I post like with a little little one that ha that's happened pocket by the way on my boob I'll be pocket and I'm like here you go it just makes you look a bit more prepared and professional but they come in handy as well depends on where you work you still get quite a few of them because they go missing as well like pens someone will ask to borrow one and then you just never see it again but you know it's the way it is I also found this really beneficial Jordan, when I've been on placements which I didn't think of in the beginning but bring your own cutlery I know that sounds really stupid but sometimes wards um, and placements they, they, they don't have cutlery or like enough cutlery to go around so I'd, I'd recommend bringing your own um, and also you you don't know where that cutlery's been whether someone's washed it probably but at least you know with your own cutlery that it's been washed so that's just another recommendation and when like if you're having your own like microwave food and maybe bring a place as well or get one of them like tubs that you can put in the microwave they come in handy as well another recommendation that i have which i think would be very useful depending on where you are and what you do is getting a small notepad and i don't mean like is it a a4 what's the one that's smaller than a4 is it a5 no, I think I'm on about day four. Get like the really small notepads that are like that big, which they should just fit in your pocket. So the task ones to carry like a big notepad round because I've, I've lost many of them over the time that I've been um, on placement. So I'd get a small one that fits in your pocket. You can just take little notes as and when you're going about. You know, quite a few of the student doctors that I've seen when I've been on placement carry the smaller notepads. Um, just so because obviously when you receive the information, you've not got much time to like memorize it and write it down. So at least there, you just like check me out you know what I mean so yeah <laughs> oh my god I don't know I didn't mention this in the beginning but this one along with comfy trainers is the ultimate thing especially women need to have Jordan placements and it is snag tights you're probably thinking what the bloody hell are they but snag tights have been my saviour this whole time that I've been on placements snag tights are basically like the like anti chub rub tights which I think you can get from boohoo as well if you don't know what chub rub is, you are so blessed. Just saying. But if you do have chub rub, then I I, I feel yeah, we, like we are, we are family now. We are a, a chub rub community. You can wear snag tights underneath your uniform, so it just helps when you walk and if it's quite a hot day, it just prevents chub rub. And the, but they're so comfy, like it literally doesn't feel like you've got like anything on there. Like the, you can get different colours as well. I've got the skin colour one because I wear them for under dresses as well. Mm really handy for underdress as well especially during the heat that we've been having it's been so hot but i've managed to avoid chub rub for a good couple of months because of these snag tights snag tight if you ever want to sponsor me i'm here and i've got like four subscribers but you know i'm i'm, I'm open for a sponsor or a collab <laughs> it also helps as well with because I, I don't know if this is just me but sometimes like i find like rips in like me uniform trousers and obviously like i don't i don't sew and uniforms take ages to come when you order them so these snag tights have been really handy just prevent like the chub rub with the holes are it's just it's just been a really smoother experience with snag tights another little thing that's handy to have is just a spare phone charger that you can literally just throw in your bag or for when you're like driving to placements or when you're on the bus you can plug it in saves taking your phone charger to home i got one from the range and i think it was literally like a pound it's not the fastest of chargers but it, it does charge um I think for my house to some places it's been like 20 minutes gone it's gone up by like five or ten percent so it just adds a little bit of bit of charge i think especially on um nights as well because obviously you haven't got that many people to talk to one night so you could just plug your phone and leave it on charge for a bit say you've taken your one from home you can just leave it in your bag or in your car in case you need it or somebody else needs it but yeah i think definitely check the range um i think mine like i said was like a pound so you're not spending that much on a charger so it's just good you know and finally, another thing that I would recommend for all students on placements is plenty of snacks and water, especially if you do night shifts, because obviously not that many shops are open, not that many takeaways are open, and you don't want to be absolutely starving or dehydrated during a night shift because it's just no good. So I'd recommend, I, I know it's like the big, I think it's like one and a half or one litre bottles of all the flavoured water, and it's just a lifesaver because you can put them in the fridge and I, I like flavoured water anyway. Um, I have about like one or sometimes two of them a day, depending on how long that I'm in. Always have plenty of snacks. Normally take like a mug shot or like cocoa noodles, something that you can just keep in your bag that isn't going to go stale. But if you're hungry, you can just like heat it up really quick and it's just there. Or um, 
Fiber One bars as well are really good. All the Skinny Whip bars I've discovered I had one the other day and it was so nice. Um, just like little snacky bits like that and some um, fruit as well is good to have for a bit of energy and naked smoothies as well. When I was on my night shift I had quite a few naked smoothies and they're so nice and they're more healthier than having like a Red Bull or a Monster or like some form of energy drink. Um, so I would recommend getting naked smoothies. They are very, very nice and very healthy for you so all about the balance. And to anyone who is starting placement soon I wish you the absolute best of luck. It's going to be extremely hard. Sometimes, sometimes you're gonna laugh, sometimes you'll cry, sometimes you'll do both, but it will be 100% worth it in the end. Um, just be yourself, be confident, be eager to learn, ask loads of questions, where no question is a stupid question, just ask questions, take notes, just observe, get stuck in straight away, it's the only way you're gonna learn is by getting hands on straight away. And just, and ju just enjoy it, just take each placement that you get and just take, something away from it each time and just learn as much as you can and it'll give you more of a scope as to where you do want to work in the future but don't think too much into it there's going to be some places that you hate some places that you love some places that you've enjoyed but you never go back to but it's all one big learning curve so just enjoy every moment that you get and i wish you the absolute best of luck and if you ever feel stuck or ever feel like you want to ask a question you can always ask me i'll uh, tag me instagram in and me TikTok as well so just f feel free to message me if you just need a little bit of advice or someone to talk to and I'll try and help the best that I can. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I won't leave it as long next time but I can't promise anything but I will try but I said that last time. But oh well I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye!